ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, all Whoa. you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today is we're... Bunny Bear's birthday. Well, that's right, Stinky. But, but first, I want to tell everyone about our guests on today's show. It's going to be the greatest birthday party ever. Yes, Stinky, but I was talking about our guests. Of course there are going to be guests at the party, Jake. What kind of party would it be without guests? I meant the guests on today's show. Well, they're invited, too. I'll be sure to tell them. Thank you. As I was saying, today's guests are a wild horse and a volcano rabbit. Both of these animals are endangered species. Hey, horses and rabbits? Wow, that'd be great at a party. They can do magic tricks and give rides. Oh, I better go do some decorating. Oh, but, Excuse me, Jake, can you take over? Uh, st <laughs> we'll be right back. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, you'll look at the number of animal species that go extinct but every year. Extinct? What's that? Extinct means that there are no more of a certain kind of animal. No more ever? No more ever. Not even one? Not even one. What? And many, many different kinds of plants and animals are going extinct each year. For example, pandas, oh. Javan rhinos, Siberian tigers, oh. And Przewalski's horses are all endangered species. We gotta stop this. We sure do. Yeah. Because once these animals yeah. are gone, we can never Wait. get them back. Animals that are going extinct. Another animal fact that'll make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> Now, as I was saying before, both of today's guests are endangered species. Ooh. So let's meet all the way from Mongolia. Mongolia. Perry, the wild horse. Oh, such a trip. All the way from Mongolia. And boy, are my hooves sore. <laughs> Welcome, Perry. It's a real pleasure to have you here. Well, when you're a wild horse, it's a pleasure to be anywhere. Mm. Well, now, Jake says that you're an extinguished species. Uh, uh, Oh, that's endangered species. Oh. And it's true. There aren't many of us around. Take a look. Oh, whoa. you brought clips? Yes, oh, I did, yeah. Jake, I can't see. Behold the Przewalski's horse. <gasps> We're the only true wild horse. We've never been tamed. Oh. Now, is it true that all other horses in the world are descended from you? Correct. We are part of a breed of horses that began in prehistoric times and has survived to this day. Well, how did you get endangered? Well, to begin with, there was the Ice Age. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, the weather changed, and we lost a lot of the grassy lands where we used to live. Well, now, are there other reasons that the Przewalski's horse is endangered? Yes. For many years, humans slaughtered us for food, and they took over the small bits of land we had left to roam. But even then, we survived. How many of you are there left in the world? Hmm, let me see. Um, 282, 290. Oh, I'd say about 300, give or take a few. Is that all? Afraid so. But whatever happens, we'll survive. Mm. You know, I noticed you look a little different from the horses we usually yeah. see. Oh, yes, it's true. Our heads are larger, our jaws are bigger, and our mane is short and bristly. More like the donkey or a zebra. That's what I thought. Who, by the way, are also related to us. Oh. Whoa, you sure are good runners. Well, thank you. We're excellent runners. Our hooves are rounded. We get a good grip on the ground, and we can run like the wind. How did you ever get the name Przewalski's horse? Oh, a good question. You see, even though we've been around for thousands of years, nobody gave us a name. Then one day, back in the 1880s, this fellow named Nikolai Przewalski sees us and decides to call us Przewalski's horses. We never saw or heard from him again, but the name stuck, and we survived. Are there any other wild horses besides the Przewalski's horse? Yes, there are. Mustangs, and they live in the western part of North America. They are wild now, but they originally came to America as tame animals. When was that? Well, about 400 years ago, you see. The Spanish needed horses to ride, and there were none in America, so they brought their own. Oh. But some of their horses escaped. These Mustang here are descended from those tame animals. Well, are Mustangs an endangered species too? Yes, they are. 
There are only a few herds left in the West, but there are laws to protect them, so with a little luck, the Mustang will survive. Hmm. Now, do horses always travel in a herd? Mm-hmm. We run in small herds of 10 or 12 horses. The Mustangs here must beware of coyotes and wolves. As a herd, they can defend themselves. The stallions are fierce fighters and will do almost anything to protect their young and to survive. Hmm. Wow. Well, I, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Will you come to our birthday party for Bunny? No. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to, as long as I don't have to give pony rides. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. All right, thanks for coming, Perry. See you later. You betcha. <laughs> and now it's time to look at some volcano rabbits. Uh, rabbits? Where? Where else? On oh, Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. <sighs> that was a nice little sleep. What time is it? Oh, good. It's munch time, and I'm ready. But I don't want to munch by myself. I wonder if anyone will munch with me. Well, don't look at me. I like to munch by myself. Okay, then I'll find another munch mate. Oh, I love to munch with you, darling. But sorry, I got to hop. Any of you bunnies want someone to munch with? Yeah, you wouldn't want to munch with me. I like to munch quietly. <laughs> and, and no one likes to munch with me because I munch too fast. It means I get all the best bits. See? Sorry, I'm almost finished. Maybe tomorrow. I, I wouldn't mind someone to munch with. Really? That's great. It's nice to have someone to munch with, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's the best. Jake! We better get more decorations up for the party. We're running out of time. Now that's something endangered species know all about. Parties? No, Stinky. Running out of time. Whoa! The clock keeps ticking both night and day. The seconds and the minutes just slipping away. Oh, we're running out of time. You're up in the morning and it's afternoon. You can't Hey, Jake, since Perry the... Since Perry the wild horse won't give pony rides, will you give Polar Bear back rides, please, for <laughs> Bunny? Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, please looks great, guys. Thanks. Can you take time out for a quiz? Oh, sure. sure. Oh, then here it is. <laughs> and the first question for today is, which of these is the world's rarest rabbit? Do you know? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. So, Stinky, do you know which is the rarest rabbit? No, I don't. But I can say rarest rabbit ten times fast. Rarest rabbit, rarest rabbit, rarest robot, rarest rabbit, Look, rarest robot. Are ah. you two ready for the answer? Sure, as soon as I get my tongue untied. <laughs> rarest <laughs> robot. Here it comes. <laughs> then the rarest rabbit is this one. Volcano Rabbit. Believe it, cause it's true. Rabbits originally lived in Southwest Europe and Northwest Africa, but over time they've been introduced into the United Kingdom, the Ukraine, New Zealand, Australia, and South and North America. In most of these regions, there are now so many rabbits that humans consider them to be pests. A rabbit's favorite food is grass and small herbs. Lots of animals will eat a rabbit if they can catch it. Rabbits are always on the alert, listening for every sound with their big ears and constantly twitching their noses to smell the air for danger. But a rabbit's best defense is its ability to run and jump. Thanks to its strong hind legs, a rabbit can jump eight feet or more. 
Rabbits are basically nocturnal, coming out from early evening to morning. Rabbits dig burrows called warrens, which may house up to 150 rabbits. They mate from January to June, and after about a month, three to nine naked, blind, and helpless baby bunnies are born. The babies are born in a chamber, which the mother rabbit lines with fur from her tummy to keep her bunnies nice and warm. A mother rabbit may have six litters a year. That means she'll have up to six times nine, 54 babies a year. That explains why there are so many rabbits around. Be seeing you. Gee, Jake, it sure would be nice if there were no endangered species. Well, sure would, Stinky. So all you animals out there, stay safe. And you can start by not eating anything cooked by oh, Yves Saint Laroche. The bonjour, bonjour, mes petits animals. It is I, Yves Saint Laroche, here to show you that even if you have only grass and bushes and shrubs to eat, you can make something delicious. Something like a birthday cake for Bunny Bear. Come this way. <laughs> You see, with nothing but grass and bushes and a mallet, <laughs> I couldn't make a birthday cake like so. Bam, 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 bam. Go, this ada, and what that word go, and now it is ready to cook. In it goes. I cook, I cook, I cook. Mm, yeah, and voila, a birthday cake for Bunny. Now be careful, because whatever you do, you must not trip and oh, and to fall. And remember, the grass is always greener on the other side of the cake. <laughs> it's a good idea, except you have to mow it twice a week. And now it's time to introduce our second guest, a very special kind of rabbit. Who will be performing magic at Bunny's party. <laughs> well, you can ask her, but I don't think she'll be interested. <laughs> Here she is from the mountains near Mexico City. City. Alicia, the volcano rabbit. Well, Stinky, <laughs> I heard what you said, but we volcano rabbits don't do magic tricks. Oh. Well, well, since you're a volcano rabbit, maybe you could go off like a volcano. No, no, Stinky, mm -hmm. uh, they're called volcano rabbits because that's where they live. In a volcano? Near a volcano. Let me show you. Oh, okay. There, you see that's a volcano rabbit. There, I see a bunch of grass. Look closer, see? There oh. he is. That rabbit is sneaking a midday snack of a zacaton. Zacaton. Zacaton is what we call that kind of grass. How many volcano rabbits are left in the world? Only about 600. In the whole world? Oh, that's right. But do you know that almost all other rabbits can trace their origin back to us? We're very much like the first rabbits who ever lived. Wow. That's why they call volcano rabbits the living fossil. Hmm. Now, how are you different from other rabbits? Well, for one thing, most other rabbits have developed long ears that let them hear very, very well. Uh -huh. We never needed that defense, so we still have very short ears like this. Mm. Wow, but why are there so few of you around? Part of the problem is that our home is so close to Mexico City. More than 20 million humans live there. Wow. wow. No room for rabbits. And there's a lot of animals who'd like to catch us for dinner. Well, what kind of animals? Uh, everyone from hawks, bobcats, and coyotes to this little lady. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there, there she is. There she is, watching for a volcano rabbit to come out in the open so she can attack. Whoa, oh, oh, a snake. Yes, that's a pygmy rattlesnake. Another neighbor that would love to make a dinner of volcano rabbit. Look out, little rabbit. That snake in the grass is after you. Don't worry, Stinky. I think this rabbit will be safe. He can outrun that snake if he sees it in time. But there are certain dangers we can't outrun. Well, what kind of dangers? Oh, fire. It usually happens in early summer when the grass is very dry and burns most easily. Every year we lose more and more of the precious area where we live to fires. Well, well, well can't you run away from the fires? Oh, we try. But even when you outrun the fire, sometimes there's so much smoke that we just can't make it. Gee, and I thought skunks had it tough. Yeah, we certainly can see why you volcano rabbits are endangered. I hope you make it. We've got a lot of enemies, natural and otherwise. but. 
We've made it for this long, so maybe we can survive for a few thousand more years. Well, we certainly wish you luck. And we'd also like you to sing a song. <gasps> I'd love to. Uh, oh, good. Uh, uh, here's Alicia with the Volcano Rabbit song. I'll tell you how it all begins. You see, the rabbit never wins. A farmer needs another field. Volcano Rabbit has to yield. A farmer needs a bigger space. Move right in. When we're together, you will see! Oh, we love to party! Though few and far between, we love to party! The party is our scene! Oh. It's not as if we are, it's for much, there's only certain foods we'll touch. The grass and herbs are all there now, but soon below the farmer's plow. We've stayed the same throughout the years, with furry feet and little ears. So, Mr. Farmer, stay below. You're not invited to our show. Oh, oh, we love to party. So few and far between, we love to party. The party is our scene. Bring some lovely nitty grass with you. We love to party. Oh, party all night long. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. Great song, Alicia. <laughs> yeah, Alicia, we'd love to have you come party with us. I'll be there. Woo! <laughs> uh, speaking of the party, Jake, yeah. what did you get Bunny for her birthday? Well, I got her a... Oh, huh? no. Oh, no! What, what? I forgot to get her a present. Oh, I'll be oh. right back. Oh. <laughs> you forgot to get her a... Uh, oh, no! So did I! Uh, Jake, wait for me! Uh, oh, uh, here's Animal Awards. Uh, Today uh, on the... What oops. the... <laughs> hey, wait, Oopsie, Bearski. What are you... Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, you... uh, Today on the Animal Awards... Which of these animals is the fastest galloper? Yeah, my money's on Stinky and Jake. <laughs> oh, uh, Armstrong! Is it... The Mustang? The Zebra? Ooh, look at a zebra goo. Ooh. Or the Hemsbach? And the winner for best galloper is... The Zebra! Ooh, congratulations, eh, Zebra? <laughs> well, well, I still think Stinky and Jake should win. <laughs> I've got my present. Have you got yours? Yeah, it's right here on the table. Are you ready for a story? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Once upon a time, there were some wild horses who couldn't wait to go snow rolling. And where do wild horses go snow rolling? In the snow rolling place, of course. So the horses galloped and galloped and galloped through the frozen forest to the snow rolling place. Last one, there's a human called Higgy, the littlest horse. <laughs> We're here, cried Ho-Ho, the first horse to get there. Ho-Ho got down on her knees and started to roll. This is definitely the best place in the world for snow rolling. The other horses agreed. It's the only place, said Gila, the biggest horse. Then he carefully chose a spot and rolled and rolled and rolled. First on the right, then on the left. Then he got up and found a new spot and rolled and rolled again. Ooh, that feels great, he said. Now, Higgy had never tried snow rolling before. She tried it, but wasn't sure she liked it. So she decided to save snow rolling for another day. The end. Whoa, that was a nice story, Jake. Thanks, Stevie. Hey, Jake, I just had an idea. You know what we need for this party? What? Party hats. And I think I know where they are. Oh, I'll be right there. <laughs> hey, 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 bunny, bunny. Is it party time? No, it's habitat time. Uh, already? What was that? What? That? Oh, nothing. No, it, it is, it's coming from behind this door here. Are you sure? Definitely. Oh, well, let's go find out what it is. All right. Yeah. Whoa, it's a volcano. Run, run. No, not towards it, run away. This is cool. Uh, no, Bunny, not cool. Hot, very hot. Singe my tail feathers. I bet you've never seen a volcanic eruption before. Oh, you'd be surprised. This volcano started under the sea. Under the sea? Yes, and every time it erupted, it made more lava which hardened into rock. So what's that got to do with anything? After many, 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 many 
many, many, many years. How many? Many. Oh. And made enough rock so that it stuck out of the water and created a fresh, new, totally unused island. Yeah, well, fascinating. But, uh, you know, all this smoke and lava and fire makes me kind of nervous. Can we go? No! We gotta see what lives here. What kind of lava lover would live on a volcano? Once the lava has cooled, lots of plants take root and thrive in the rich volcanic ash. But if this is a new island, where did the plants come from? Seeds are washed ashore by the waves and blown in by the wind. And before you know it, the seeds become plants. Like these trees. See? Trees where you never expect them to be. Look at how the plants have grown up on the shore. Soon they'll cover the whole island. Amazing. Uh, so much for the plants. I get that part. Now, what about the animals? Here's one now. A modern lizard. It's one of the first animals to come live on this island. And here are some birds arriving. If they can find enough food, they'll stay here and breed. They also bring fresh seeds in their droppings. Uh, do you have to discuss a bird's personal habits in public? <laughs> this lizard could have arrived on the beach on a raft of vegetation or on a log. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, unlike that cute little thing who flew here all on her own. Hi there, Curie. How you doing, sweetheart? Birds and lizards like these are often the first animals to live on a new island. It won't be long before this place is teeming with life. Wouldn't you like to live here? Boy, oh boy, that was the strangest habitat I have ever seen. Yeah, wasn't it really, really interesting? No, it was really, really not. For habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And I'm showing the chicken hut. Just back Ooh. from a really, really interesting volcanic island. Hey, hey, Bunny, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah? Did I burn my beak? No, it looks fine. How about this side? Look oh, on. just a little more. Come oh, on. Can you? Oh, there, oh that's, that's better. better. Hey, let's party. Yay! Jake, here are oh. the hats. Oh, good. Now we're ready. Except for one thing. One thing? What? What did we forget? Cakes, uh. presents, hats? What? My quiz! Oh! And here it is. <laughs> and the question is, which one of these animals is not a horse? This one, this one, this one, or this one? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. Mm. Uh, well, Stinky, uh, do you know which one of those animals is not a horse? Oh, uh, the answer is the penguin? Close, Stinky, but not quite. Here comes the real answers. The answer is the seahorse. The seahorse is not a horse at all. It's a fish. You better believe it, because it's true. Thanks for the great quiz, Tizzy, and yeah. thanks to Eve and Armstrong. Come on in, guys. The party's starting. Oh, and boy, a special okay. thanks to today's guests, Perry the Wild Horse and Alicia the Volcano Rabbit. Right this way. Yeah, right in. And of course, thanks to you for always seeing the world through the eyes of animals. And now, here she is, our birthday bear, my cousin Bunny. Hi. Yeah, hi, Bunny. Oh, look at all my babies. I'm oh, so happy. Man. Okay, everybody, it's time.